Okay, done. This is uh, the automated finishing ink model 2H36, two spindle, um, bolt type finishing machine. Uh, this is Rod. This is Rod. How are you, Don? Rod's going to run the machine for you, and um, we're going to take it through the manual cycles. I'll uh, show you how everything works manually, and then we'll take it um, into some automatic cycles for you. So I'm just going to give you a quick walk around the machine so you can see uh, what the cabinet looks like. And um, then we'll walk around the outside of the machine as well. This is all temped in. Okay. Spindle one. Chucking foot pedal. Spindle two. And chucking foot pedal for that. Flow controls for the spindles. For spindle speed. I'm following you. you. Want to go around yeah. back? Yeah, come around. We have the air hook up here. We don't have the slurry and air on right now. I just got the auto cycle with the spindles and the tub rotation with the hydraulics. These come into play later for the spritzers. Right, it's all pretty straightforward here. Hydraulic manifold back through here. Here's where the water comes in. Right off of here into the tub. Hydraulic manifold, junction box. Main hydraulic system. And this side just like that side. One and two are both the same. That's it there. Presently wired for 480 volts. Okay. All right. Kill it and win. You can go to an auto cycle and maybe. I'm going to leave it on the whole time. You are? Yep. Okay. Hang on. No spindles yet because we're not an auto cycle. This is just a manual mode. Now I could take the heads back up, put it into auto cycle, and then we can work off the timers. We'll leave the tub running. Here's a faster spindle speed for the tub. That's 60% right there. There's 80%. You can see it's moving pretty good. We're going to make it back down to 20%. There we go. There's 30. That's not bad. I'm going to bring the heads back up now manually. We'll go into an auto cycle. of a second. Seven tenths forward rotation on the spindle, seven tenths reverse rotation on the spindle, then they'll pull out and park themselves. So in the auto mode, we hit cycle start two, one, and they'll follow each other in now. Now they're rotating, see? Is now, watch the yellow tape, right? Now they're rotating and they're timing out. If you want to watch, let's do this first, then we can get the timer. Here's our speed control for the spindles. Slow. And here's fast. And here's slow. Same thing on the other side here. Let's speed this guy up. 
And I want to show you doing it. Yep. Just the flow control off the hydraulics. You getting it? Okay. Go back up to the timers now. You'll see them switch over. They're both down to zero right there. There's one. There's the other. Now we're using the lower timers. If you look over here, we've got reverse rotation on the spindle. I know it's hard to get both in the camera, so that's that. Now if you want to pull back, when those two bottom timers get down to zero, they'll pull out and park themselves automatically. Where are we at? Yeah. We're down to four and four. Here's our, now we got our tack feedback. See this? We're going that. 130. I just sped the bowl up a little bit of the tub. In forward. I'll pull back and you'll see. Pull back because they're getting ready to finish up now. When these hit zero, you'll see the heads come out. And they'll park. There they go. Tub's still running. Park position. Tub is on. Shut the tub off. Shut hydraulics off. There, there's one seven tenths auto cycle done. Forward and reverse. 14 tenths. <laughs> All right.